Okay, this is my grounded theory uh, presentation. It's all about what the grounded theory is and its history, unique characteristic, and the key researchers who um, identified this theory. So let's start with the history of grounded theory. Grounded theory was initially named the constant comparative method. It later changed its name to grounded theory. It all started in 1967. It originated from two researchers named Barney Glasner and Azelman Strauss. They were creating it to provide systematic guidelines for qualitative research. Prior to the creation of grounded theory, qualitative research was known to be more like journalism and less scientific. So in attempts to create more systematic guidelines, Glasser and Strauss created the grounded theory. Uh, the intent of the grounded theory was to bridge the gap between theory and empirical research by providing practical guidelines. So again, they are just trying to create their uh, practical guidelines to make it more scientific and less journalistic. The unique characteristics of grounded theory it begins with the data of collect, or I'm sorry, it begins with collection of data rather than the formulation of a hypothesis, which is unique. The grounded theory reserved the traditional research approach. It utilizes both inductive and deductive thinking. Researchers pre pursue many different goals that are all related, so it can be used for a wide variety of reasons. It focuses on an explanation rather than a description. And it cannot be classified as valid or non-valid, but it's going to be either more or less relevant, workability, or modifiability. Modif modif so it'll either have a really high relevance, a really high workability, a really high modifiability, or it'll have a low relevance, low workability, low modifiability. It won't be valid or non-valid. That's not a description that the grounded theory will fit. All right, key researchers. As I've already previously said, that Barney Glasser and Aslam Strauss were the creators of this theory. Um, the, they originally um, described this theory as an innovative methodology facilitating the discovery of theory from data. Researcher Payne also described the unique features of grounded theory analysis is the dynamic interplay of data collection and analysis. So some key quotes from researchers uh, familiar with the grounded theory. Implementation. This nice chart here shows the steps one would take to implement the um, grounded theory. It starts at identifying research area, collecting data, extract themes, postulate generalizations, develop taxonomies, and develop theory. The figure was created um, by Omina. Um, in 2010 to show the different steps of implementation of the grounded theory. More about the implementation, there are seven steps that are carefully executed. Um, it, it is more on the inductive side. It proves the conclusion first rather than the deductive methodology. It does use both inductive and deductive, but it's more so inductive first. It's going to prove um, prove that conclusion. The seven steps were situating unexplained problems, identification of a research area, collecting data, extracting themes, postulating generalizations, developing taxonomies, and developing theories. And some interesting facts about the grounded theory. There are four stages of data analysis, codes, concepts, categories, and theory. Um, grounded theory is judged by its relevance, workability, and modifiability, as previously stated in this um, slideshow. Also, the grounded theory has the major benefit of being flexible and can be adapted for numerous different purposes and different types of research. The downfall of grounded theory is that um, it's, it's hard to know when and how to utilize the existing literature within the study. It's always important to identify the literature that already exists with whatever topic you're investigating. But with, the, with utilization of the grounded theory, it's very hard to know when and how you use that existing literature. And finally, the grounded theory has definitely an unpredictable nature, which can make it more challenging to use. And these are the references utilized throughout the slideshow. Thanks for watching.